ELISA is a plate-based assay technique designed for detecting and quantifying soluble substances, such as antibodies, antigens, proteins, peptides, and hormones. ELISA assays are categorized into various types. In this video we will talk about direct ELISA. And we will explore how it can be applied to detect specific protein present in a mixture of proteins. The crucial first step of the direct ELISA is plate coating. In this phase, plates of 96 wells or strips of 8 wells are used. The well strip is placed into a support frame. Next, the samples are added into the wells, ensuring that each well receives the appropriate sample. Once the samples are in place, it's crucial to incorporate both negative and positive controls. These controls aid in the accurate evaluation of the test. Next, the well strip is covered with adhesive plastic to create a controlled environment for an incubation process. In ELISA, polystyrene stands as the widely preferred material for the solid phase. Proteins are then immobilized onto this polystyrene surface. After immobilizing proteins onto the solid phase, the adhesive plastic is removed. The well strip is then overturned and tapped to eliminate sample solutions, and an absorbent paper towel is used to ensure thorough removal. After eliminating excess solutions, the wells undergo thorough washing with a specially formulated wash buffer. This solution rinses the wells, removing any unbound substances. Using a wash buffer helps eliminate any unbound proteins. Once the wash buffer has been discarded, an absorbent paper towel is employed to eliminate any residual liquid. The next step in direct ELISA is to block any unoccupied sites on the solid phase. During this step, a blocking solution is applied, usually containing proteins like BSA, serum, non-fat dry milk, or casein. The blocking solution is added to each well. Subsequently, the well strip is covered and incubated. The proteins in the blocking solution form a barrier on the plate, preventing the conjugated antibody from binding to these sites in subsequent steps. After the completion of the blocking step, the adhesive plastic is removed. The well strip is then overturned to allow the blocking solution to drain out. Finally, an absorbent paper towel is used to effectively absorb any remaining solution. Next, the wells are thoroughly washed with the wash buffer. This step helps to ensure that any remaining blocking protein is thoroughly removed from the wells. After discarding the wash buffer, any residual liquid is removed using an absorbent paper towel. After the blocking step, the subsequent stage involves incubation with a conjugated antibody. This specific antibody enables us to both detect and quantify the presence of the targeted proteins. The conjugated antibody solution is added to each well, and then the well strip is covered and incubated. The conjugated antibody is specifically designed to bind to the targeted proteins present in the wells. Next, the conjugated antibody solution is removed from each well ensuring the elimination of any remaining liquid. Following the use of the conjugated antibody, the next crucial step involves performing a final wash to remove any excess conjugated antibody. The wash buffer effectively removes any unbound antibody, leaving only the specific antibody protein complexes. Following the final wash, the next critical step involves detecting the antibody protein complexes. This is achieved using a substrate that initiates a reaction, producing a detectable signal. The substrate solution is carefully added to each well. Then the well strip is covered and incubated. 
To enable the detection and direct ELISA, the detection antibody is typically labeled with an enzyme, such as alkaline phosphatase. The most common chromogenic substrate for this enzyme is P-nitrophenyl phosphate. The alkaline phosphatase enzyme catalyzes the cleavage of phosphate groups from PNPP molecules. This enzymatic reaction transforms PNPP into P-nitrophenyl, which generates a yellow color upon deprotonation in an alkaline medium. In the presence of targeted proteins, a color change takes place, causing the wells to display a yellow color. Next, prior to photometric detection, the reaction is commonly stopped by increasing the pH of the reaction mixture using a strong base, such as NaOH. Finally, for confirmation and interpretation of the results, a spectrometer instrument is employed to read the absorbance in each well. This confirms the presence or absence of the targeted proteins.